What is going on guys, it's your boy Damon again and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video guys, I am going to show you how to culture a springtails. So first of all, what is springtails? Springtails are actually known to be a decomposers in nature or most likely called a cleanup crew. So that means that they will eat any decaying organic matter guys. And that includes molds. Yes, you heard it right guys, it's molds. They may be small but they do have a big role in nature guys. So springtails can usually be found in a dump or moist area. They can be found in the um, decaying trees or um, under the rocks or as long as there is a moist area. But for me, what I'm going to do is I will just take these little ones from my tarantula enclosure. And um, if you guys found these um, springtails in your enclosure, do not remove them guys or do not kill them. They are actually not harmful to your tarantula and um, in fact they can be useful as well. So they will eat any leftover foods from your tarantula. That includes mold. So they'll be able to help you to stop the outbreak in your enclosure. But then again, guys, um, it actually depends on what kind of setup you are using. So springtails usually only works in enclosure with high humidity and moisture. So this one right here, these are the stuffs that we need in order for you to start your springtail colony. So we have here a container and we also have here a charcoal and a distilled water and of course the springtails which is in the tarantula enclosure. We will try to feed our tarantula first so that she will not bother us when we are going to take out the springtails. Now let's just move this aside. So there she is guys, let's try to feed her so that we will be able to take out this water. So here's our lats. There we go guys. Um, let me just try to show you guys the springtails. So these white tiny bugs right here and um, floating in the water, these are the springtails. So first one right here is our container. Now I'm going to use this small container because I'm still new to this hobby and I don't have much enclosures yet. So we just need to put the charcoal inside. You can also try to use a substrate, um, a moist substrate, but the thing is, if you're going to use a substrate, they're actually quite hard to remove the springtails or if you're going to transfer them to your enclosure. Whereas if you're going to use this um, charcoal, you can just remove one charcoal and then just try to put in the new enclosures. Okay, so here we have our charcoal. Now, the next thing is we need to put the distilled water. It is actually important to use distilled water or mineral water, guys. Do not use a tap water, guys, because it contains chlorine, which can kill your springtails. Now, what you need to do here is you just need to put water. There we go, guys. So yeah, at least half of the enclosure. Now let's try to take out the springtails. So here's our springtails guys. Um, I'm not quite sure if the camera can capture this one or something but yeah. So those white stuffs right there, those are bugs. They are the cleanup crew. Now let's try to put them in this container. So here they are guys, those white stuffs right there, those are the springtails. 
Now, it's actually easy to take care of them. You can actually just drop some sort of pellets from your cat food or dog food, or if you don't have any pets, you can actually just use a grain of rice. So you'll just leave it there, and as days goes by, guys, the rice will actually decay and will cause molds. So those molds will be your sprinkles food source. So you cannot actually see this from the camera because they're still very small. So I will just give you guys an update after a week or something like that. So anyways guys, that should be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video guys, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos where we talk about pets and gaming. See ya! Thank you.